Hello YouTube subscribers, Coach Tom Avery here. I have a special announcement today. I've been asked to be part of a special tennis website called expertconnect.pro. On this website you're going to see hundreds of videos and tennis related topics that will help take your game to the next level. The uh, coaches that will be offering these videos are, are actually some of them are players that are on the tour right now. You've got uh, legendary coaches who have coached many ATP players and WTA, WTA players and um, also some legends of the game. Three top ten players and one former number one. So I strongly encourage you to check out the site and actually today's video is by Tim Mayotte, a former top tenor who's part of the ExpertConnect.pro team and it's about the importance of the split step. Really good video, check it out. It's going to help your game tremendously. So there's one other thing, yes, that I wanted to mention in association with ExpertConnect.pro uh, and the Celsius Tennis C Academy in Sarasota, Florida, which is one of the best academies in the world. Uh, on behalf of the Benton Camper Scholarship Fund, they are offering a scholarship to a young uh, player that's gifted, motivated, and has potential. A full one-year scholarship to the Celsius Tennis Academy. So in the link below, uh, I'm sorry, in the description box below, I will give you the link with the email address to sign up to see if you uh, might uh, be eligible for that scholarship. So th remember, this is for gifted young players, you know, in that 10-year-old to 18-year-old range. So also there'll be a um, website, a, uh, I'm sorry, a link to the expertconnect.pro website and you know when you're on that website browse around like I say there's a lot of information there and if you wanted to become a monthly member put in the promo code TOM Tom and you'll get a discount on that so here's the video now with Tim Mayotte check it out like I say it's a great video Hello, my name is Tim Mayotte, and I'm excited to be here at Expert Connect. Uh, I am a former ATP top 10 professional, uh, had a silver medal at the Olympics, and now a full-time teaching pro. And I'm very excited to be here today to talk about my philosophy about how to teach technique and movement. So the framework starts with the first element, which is the split step. And I think that this is the most underappreciated, underpracticed, understudied element in all of tennis. And that as we look at the sport down the road over the next 15 to 20 years, this split step and the beginning of the unit turn will be the most important focus as people look at why are the best players the best? Now I have to check my facts on this, but I think the four best timers of the split step in the world are, you guessed it, Federer, Djokovic, Nadal, and Murray. So the timing, we talk about the rhythm and the timing of the stroke. Well, how does Federer get such good timing? It begins with the fact that the timing of his split step is perfect. Over and over, he does the exact right thing, which is that he's coming off the ground just before his opponent's making contact, and then on the way down from the split step, he's read where the ball's going, and he starts his dynamic push to the ball. Now, on top of that, what happens to the racket? The answer is nothing, and that is actually exceptionally difficult to do. When you get ready and have the racket in the ready, ready position, it's here in your left hand, floating up with a little bit of space between the arms. Do not underestimate the importance of the ready position. You go to a club, you see a racket down here. 
You see people with the racket out here. You see pe people with the racket up here. Or you see a lot of juniors with the racket down here. This is a big mistake. This is where greatness starts with the split step and the structure of that waiting position there. Coaches don't talk about it. Why? I'm not sure, but it's absolutely critical. What are, the, what are the other elements of the split step? The width of the base. You watch the best movers in the world. They have exceptionally wide base when they land on the split step. Djokovic, Federer, amazing how wide it is. It's very difficult to do, but it enables them to move better. Why? Because the width of the base, now listen to me, this is very complicated. The width of the base determines the potential size of the first step. So if you watch Federer, he moves so little as far as the number of steps he takes, but they're exceptionally big steps. And this, I think, has been a big key in his resurgence, especially as he's moved to the backhand side. That base is so wide, and he takes giant steps and cuts the angle off with those steps. So timing, width, posture, absolutely critical, the posture. Think of all the greatest athletes in the world. Tom Brady, amazing posture. Wayne Gretzky, amazing posture. Roger Federer, Djokovic, who's my favorite, amazing posture. Why? Well, you have to move in 360 degrees in tennis. If your weight is centered over your torso, your torso's over your hips, then you can move equally well in any direction. There's some people who do this, pros who do this surprisingly poorly. Example number one, Malfis. So when you see Monfils move, he's leaning forward if you look at it from the side like that. Now if he has to go back, he's got to correct before he moves. That's why when you watch Federer move, people say, well, the guy looks like a ballet dancer. It's because his posture is so impeccable. So then he's balanced and moving in any direction that he needs to. Djokovic even better, I think. So you got width, you got posture, you've got timing, which is probably the most important one. Now you put those things together and the good racket position, you've got a nice start. But think of this, not only in the first return, like off the return of serve, but also think of it in terms of if you are returning to that spot every time. So this is kind of a, for more advanced players, but keep it in mind. Your forehand, as we get down the line, actually will probably be helped or hurt by what what the recovery is like. Because if you recover into a comfortable spot here, going into the split step, then you have a good chance to have a good shot. I like to think of it like a pilot who's on a plane. At the beginning of every flight, they go through a checklist of what exactly has to be in place to help with the flight. Now, a great player always returns to the same place every single time. There's a great writer, David Wallace Foster, who wrote about Federer very eloquently in the New Yorker magazine, and he talked about how he looks just like a flu, almost like a fluid machine. That's because it starts with this split step and Federer is in the same place every single time. Now keep in mind that for a volley, a player is going to be a little bit lower. This is actually where I think Federer could get better. If you look at his uh, former coach Edberg, Stefan Edberg, he was super wide and low on the volleys. But regardless, whether it's the volley or the ground stroke or the return of serve, you're gonna be super wide. Check out Venus Williams. I mean, why is she so fast? Of course she's you know, a powerful, fast athlete. But the width of her base is fantastically wide when she comes into a stroke, but primarily off of the return of serve. To book a personal session, go on my profile page on Expert Connect. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, the timing of your stroke is, very, is closely related to the timing of your split step. So if you have a good split step, you're going to be to the ball balanced. You're going to have good posture. And when you have balance and good posture, you're going to make less errors. And that's the bottom line. You're going to be a more consistent player. So please subscribe to the channel, 
give this video a thumbs up and uh, like I say look for more videos from Expert Connect and I of course will continue to put up everything I know about the game. So all the best and have a good one. Take care.